Hey, what's good with y'all? Uh, so I finally got the uh, fuel gauge to work. Uh, such how I got it. I got the uh, jumper cables running along back there so I can get power on ground. Of course, positive, negative. Running on back here and pretty much I have the negative and positive. Um, here, going to the jumper cables. Ground is the one on the left, power's on the right. The bottom one is for the signal. And uh, once you actually get power on ground to it, it uh, floats all the way over. Uh, so on your fuel cell, because I tried to look this up and it was kind of hard finding it out. And on YouTube videos that show wiring from a, wiring from a fuel cell, they didn't say which one is ground and which one is the signal. And you know, depending on where you get your fuel cell from, there might not be any instructions. But the green wire is ground. So these uh, nuts right here, not nuts, but screws are ground. Both of them are ground. So pretty much I just took the green wire, grinding it right here on the fuel cell itself. And if you touch the signal wire, get a read. You know, I forgot what the part number on this fuel gauge is, but that's the uh, company right there, EQs, without the eye. Uh, and yeah, that is kind of accurate. I did kind of have a little bit of problems since it's kind of hot. That my fuel cell isn't vented, so when it gets hot, the uh, pressure in the side of the fuel cell, you know, it gets to make things a little bit erratic. Uh, I went to Walmart today, was in there for maybe 40 minutes, came out, tried to start the car, it was having trouble starting up, and then when I did get it to actually fire, uh, you know, I revved the engine up a little bit, had the gas about 1500, just a little warm up a bit, got off the gas and the car cut off, and fuel came out of the fuel vent on the carburetor, um, gave it uh, maybe 30 seconds. Then I fired it up again and it ran fine. Then I was on my way back here to the house and uh, my ignition wire came off my uh, distributor so the car cut off on me. Uh, I think what happened was is when I had wired the uh, temp gauge, um, I ran the ignition wire underneath a spark plug wire and uh, maybe from the spark plug wire maybe moving around a little bit under the hood while driving it it may have knocked the ignition wire out the ignition wire is easy to come off on the uh distributor for some reason uh, just the dang on core itself but like if i come here and like i come it don't come off easy easy but just a little pressure it just slides right on out so Spark plug wire probably. Not that I mean uh probably dumped a lot of fuel in trying to get the car stopped back up before I had realized it. Um because I think I had a little bit more than a quarter tank. Um but now I'm below a quarter tank. And uh man, I'm pretty much broke right now buying all this stuff, paying bills and everything. And I had to go buy some food and stuff, so I'm gonna have to try not to drive this car too much uh for the next couple days at least over the weekend i'll be driving my wife's car now i got a few dollars left throw some gas in here but yeah pretty much the only thing you know when you're wiring up an aftermarket gauge fuel level gauge the fuel level gauge itself needs power and ground the fuel cell needs ground for me the green wire is ground and all you need is this yellow signal wire to go right here on the signal we'll say s on the gauge itself and that's it um but yeah i can either put the uh fuel level gauge right here or mount it somewhere here uh, or maybe use on double sided table or something and mount it here and then i should be able to get power from this wire that splice it here to the fuel pump wire uh should be able to work or i will run the wire 
from up there on the fuel cell and bring it around under here then just have it come around through here and pull the wire out through here run it under here come up under the steering column well above the steering column and mount it here since uh the gauges are bigger than this mountain bracket for right now i'll at least just put it up here it might be permanent i don't know right now i'm not gonna worry about putting the lights on there um i lost the bulb that goes to the fuel level gauge anyway but it's pretty simple uh wind up a fuel level gauge with you know at least somebody that you know and again green wire is ground yellow is a signal but hey now that i got everything you know did for as far as the gauges and everything i just need to figure out where i want to mount it to uh i'm going to go ahead cut the video like comment subscribe you know let me know what y'all want to see and i'm gonna do my best to get that out there you know um for the next month or two i will have a lot more free time so i guess pretty much anything aside from racing uh yeah just comment or whatever and uh let me know what y'all want to see peace